Welcome to the AutoPulse NXT Resuscitation System in-service video series. This multi-part series provides detailed information about the AutoPulse NXT mechanical CPR device and its functionality. This series serves as an adjunct to formal training. Please take time to read the user guide available at zoll.com. Proper use of the system requires a thorough understanding of the product, appropriate training, and practice. In this module, we review the buttonology of the AutoPulse NXT resuscitation system. User control panels located on each side of the AutoPulse NXT platform enable the system's operation. The power button is located at the bottom of the user panel. Press the power button to turn the platform on or off. It illuminates green when the device is on. To start compressions, press the green start button. To pause compressions, press the orange stop button once. When paused, the device will beep every 10 seconds to notify the provider that compressions have stopped. The beeps will coincide with pause time. For example, there will be one beep at 10 seconds, two at 20, and so on, up until 60 seconds when the device will start beeping continuously. To stop compressions, press the orange stop button a second time. If inactive for 15 minutes, the platform will automatically shut off. The mute button is located next to the power button. Pressing this button will silence ventilation and pause beeps for 30 seconds. When 30 to 2 mode is selected, the platform will beep at compressions 28, 29, and 30 to alert users to pause for 3 seconds to deliver two ventilations. During continuous mode, the platform does not pause. The platform beeps at the start of every eighth compression, guiding ventilations at a rate of 10 breaths per minute. The mute button illuminates green when activated. The compression mode button is located next to the mute button. This button allows you to change the compression mode from 30 to 2 mode to continuous mode during CPR. The AutoPulse NXT resuscitation system factory default on startup is 30 to 2 mode. The default compression mode is active when the platform is turned on. Configure the default compression mode when you are setting up the platform. First, ensure the platform is on. Next, check the default compression mode. When the default compression mode is 30 to 2, the compression mode button is not illuminated. When the default compression mode is continuous, the compression mode button is illuminated. To change the default compression mode, press and hold the compression mode button for at least four seconds until the platform beeps once, then release. The user panel also includes a battery charge status indicator. It features bars that indicate the charge level of the battery in the device. Four green bars indicate a charge greater than 75%. The battery is ready for use. One to three green bars indicate a partial charge. The battery may be used in the device, but it should be charged. One bar indicates a very low charge. Change the battery at the next pulse check. When 10% or less of a charge remains, the bottom bar on the battery charge status indicator flashes. If the battery charge status shows one bar flashing, replace the battery. If no light appears while the battery is in the device, the battery must be charged. If the battery is too low to perform compressions, the alert light flashes and compressions stop. The USB indicator on the user control panel flashes green when transferring session summary data from the platform to a USB drive. This will illuminate continuously when transfer from the platform to a USB drive is complete. Next on the user control panel is the alert indicator. 
This alerts users to important AutoPulse NXT functions. When illuminated yellow, continue to use the platform and contact technical support later. When the alert indicator is flashing and the battery charge status shows one bar, replace the battery. If the alert indicator is flashing but the battery charge status is not flashing, turn the device off and then turn it on again. If this does not clear the error, revert to manual CPR and contact technical support later. If the alert indicator illuminates but compressions have stopped, begin manual CPR immediately. Check battery charge status and band connections. Turn platform off and on, pressing the start button. If compressions do not start, refer to the user guide for instructions on troubleshooting a solid alert indicator or contact technical support later. Band guards secure the AutoPulse NXT band to the platform. If the band guard lock indicator is flashing on one user control panel, the band guard on that side is incorrectly installed. If the band guard indicators are flashing on both user control panels, both band guards are incorrectly installed. Compressions will stop if a band guard detaches from the platform. Flashing indicators disable the start button until the issue is resolved. We have now reviewed the buttonology of the AutoPulse NXT resuscitation system.